hey guys so in this video I think this is the part 4 of my Gen 2 installation process not planning really to do this however one of uh, the viewer one of my virtual friend his name is Paul Noka I think that's how you pronounce if it's not Paul sorry I don't know how to pronounce your last name and he pointed out a lot of things on my during installation first thing that he pointed out is the um, microcode now the problem of the gen 2 install handbook is they put it here as an optional and in my opinion it should be it should be a and I agree with Paul should be it should be um, it's not it, sh it should not be optional it should be a thing that you should install because the microcode is the it's actually written here uh, here microcode typically a newer revision of microcode is sometimes necessary to patch instability security concern and other miscellaneous bugs in the CPU hardware now on my initial installation I just installed the Linux firmware but I haven't really looked deeply and I forgot about that and apologize for that and thanks again to Paul for pointing out so when you are in that um, in that situation or in this install installation you should install the microcode now on the handbook there is a microcode article I think yeah there is a microcode article in here you go in there is a manual way there is also there is a manual way there is on the if you just install the Linux firmware and you just need to enable the initram fs so if i just let's say image firmware we just make it bigger so i already have here enabled if it's not enabled by default it's not enabled i believe it should be enabled then you need to add this to your package that used which I have done it and this is how I add so this is in the um, sudo vim now let's just say vim etc portage package that use and I put it in kernel see I added to here on the init tramfs and before I have I I mean I mentioned that I have a Gen 2 and I checked my previous Gen 2 in, installed on my system both in my laptop and on my desktop they are enabled and of course when you before you do the microcode there is a way here for the for or for enabling it on the kernel configuration when you do the kernel configuration manual configuration and I do hope I don't know about the gen kernel bean or the the other um, kernels which is they supply I believe they should they should all this microcode loading I'm not gonna dig in more here there is also a manual way which I can do it I didn't do it because it's already on my system so let me let me just show you hmm. so it's already in here amd uc img so microcode is already in that okay so the next thing that i want to discuss is the portage with kit portage with kit and can I close this what am I here 
yeah this is the uh, portal suite kit now during the installation I think this should be this should be also enabled by default because the problem with the rsync is if you have installed using the handbook you by default it will be you'll be in rsync then when you do a emerge sync you you will see on the top here message about giving you a warning saying oh um the those who are those who are abusing synchronizing all the time with the server you will be banned all these kind of things and the rsync it's actually really slow really really slow on my opinion git is faster git is better so i would highly suggest you go through here it's not really difficult you just need to follow what is on the wiki okay that's the next one and the other thing that i would like to discuss after you install your gen 2 or so on is i can close this is the glsa check this is for the gen 2 linux uh, security advisories and in order to use this glsa check see i already did it earlier if you are in doubt you can just put help and it will tell you here a options so i wanted to check just to see if there is some um, any any concern with my packages on installed on my system and by doing that glsa check t all and i wanted to check all and it should tell you here a message so from time to time it's better to check here with the glsa check in which they should also mention it like a must all right so another thing is the uh, let's go first with the ac package accept keywords now Paul again highlighted about the enabling the um, global global uh, here global accept words is one and it's not only Paul who who mentioned this but a lot of the guys I think for a long time gentle users on all time not all time long time gentle users they always are against into this accept keywords and I believe uh, if I if I remember it correctly hold on if i remember it correctly i've been using now gen 2 for like more than a year my first install initially i didn't enable this i have to go um, on the package accept keywords when i was installing in steam and all, any other games or any app packages that i wanted and i always have to enable this so after that i just decided to go with global and for those who knows me i have a um, plasma gentle before but having this accept keywords this would mean that um, you will be on the testing branch so whenever there's a new package is out it's not tested it's not the same as in arch because in arch there is like few hours or a day or two that they will put it on a testing branch and then they will put it on the stable branch so I would say so in gen 2 for example this is what I know I mean please correct me if I'm wrong on a stay or testing packages if you go the I open just a random I just decided to the network manager so if you didn't enable the AMD 64 globally uh, when you need to install the network manager 
this green package on here if you search about the packages this green package that you will get you will not get to the um, uh, what I call this the most recent one so see it's in testing it's on testing it's on testing so for example the gen 2 sources uh, here for example so all this green this is the um, the stable packages or stable um, kernel now if let's say you didn't enable this globally how, but if you want to in to install the latest uh, latest um, package what you can do is you can go into it's written here you can go into this and add it to the um, added the package and then just add it the AMD 64 don't know the name of this um, no. this is what you can do but on my case as well if if you check mine package that accept keywords oh, this is a because gen 2 you can be a file it can be a directory see it can be a file it can be a directory and I chose it directory so in my case I have enabled the AMD 64 global but there are some packages in which I just wanted to get the stable one because I don't want it to keep compiling one thing there is the Ruby and the another thing is the WebKit GTK now a lot of the guys here this is just I don't know to be honest why why Lutris is relying on this WebKit GTK there are some packages also which is relying to this WebKit GTK and I don't know so I don't want to just keep compiling compiling that WebKit GTK so just compile one time and then that's it that's it so I hope you got the point about the uh, accept keywords globally and uh, in my opinion for me I don't really have an issue with the AMD 64 true it's on a testing branch it's not tested if for example you're using Gen 2 for your server for example that you don't want to have a downtime then of course uh, putting a global AMD 64 is just plain stupid so why would you do that one but for me I'm using it um, uh, how can I, how can I explain this gen 2 is I cannot say it's my secondary I cannot say also my primary because my primary or secondary I have a, a gen 2 and arts on my system and arch is it's like always like testing per se and I've been using arch before and I never really had a problem at least in my case the only problem that on arch before was this scrub okay never mind that's a for the arch that will be maybe on a different video so I hope now I made my point about the AMD 64 nobody's forcing you but I always tell to people and I'm sorry Paul and I'm sorry to the people who are against this AMD 64 it's my system okay and if it breaks it's my system I will deal with it that's the thing okay I can ask but it's a good way for me to learn that's all I can say okay so another thing while we are on the package um, here on the package accept keywords there are some certain packages for example because I have to enable the 999 package of the waybar now before we go, go to that one this is now my this is now the the one I installed before it's already up and running I have the I have the OBS running already which is nice and 
I mentioned about the way bar unclickable way bar when I installed high bar hyperlan on gen 2 and the package that I saw there is one which is uh, how can I say here useless desktop uh, uh, no wait just post so I can find it okay so going back to what I'm discussing earlier I have to enable a one package which is a the way bar 999 or the 999 it's because I had an issue before that I cannot click the workspaces and the cl clickable workspaces is like this so I can just click it and the waybar package 999 um, even though it's already on 999 I still cannot uh, click it now while we are here so I mentioned earlier about putting this uh, this asterisk to asterisk this is the way if you wanted to install a 999 packages uh, you will see sometimes that you get this 999 however this is a live um, a live packages so whatever changes on the upstream it will always just uh, keep on changing keep on changing so whenever you sync and whenever you um, try to update and it will just keep updating into that one this is the live live one and on arch do you have a lot of these packages you will see on the aur these um, git packages let's just have a quick hyperland git aur so now this is a this kind of packages they are like a 999 packages and I have this hyperland kit on my art <coughs> on my arts and I never really have an issue so I mean it's up to you but it's it's um, again it's the only way that I can have a clickable uh, package of course if I get another package, the stable package, and I can click it, I will just remove it. So if you need to remove it and going back to the normal um, normal package, for example, on the way bar in here, then I can just uh, remove this and then run the, the update. If it's not, then I can also remove from my um, mask or unmask. Now while we are here, talking about the um, overlay uh, overlay overlay gen 2 okay so the overlay the overlay these are the like the AOR but the overlay these are the individual packages of the um, um what do you call it people or group of people who are contributing on who have their own repositories so for example uh, let's just see the it's mostly on sagaina sagaina um, overlay yeah gentle portage overlay this is this is this is not the overlay this is like only like a hosting so for example I wanted the hyperland because hyperland is still not on the gentle re repository and there are and there are three or two who are or three yeah three who are um, having these e-builds for the hyperland now I have chose the Wayland uh, Wayland overlay because for example here the guru is a little bit um, 
it's a little bit older it's not really that much updated but I believe it's more stable probably I don't know I didn't use the guru overlay or f at least for the hyperland I have a guru packages and also the great the great MC pain these are two and I believe the great MC pain he have a package uh, e build for openrc and i noticed in here that the wayland desktop have a um, system d support so i chose this one this e build and e build is actually i don't know about e build i don't i know about package build and arch but it looks like it's just easier and and so on but i haven't tried that anyway so if you let's say you add an e-build repository for example one of the problem is if let's say you have the you have the guru um, enabled because there are some packages which enabled or let's just say let's just talk about the um, Wayland desktop for now now the problem is if we browse no I think if we can click it he, the Wayland desktop overlay there's a lot of packages in here and if let's say they did some changes in here then if you run the sync and the if you run the sync and update your system quite possibly that if their package are more more up to date most likely you will get the e-build from them now to avoid that one we need to mask here's things that you can do so you can go into uh, vim package that mask and again this package that mask it can be a file or directory and i just chose it a directory and i have a one file in here now what you can do is you put this um, asterisk forward slash asterisk and then double colon and then the name of the overlay so this will prevent this will masking all the packages which 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 you don't want now that's the first thing that you should do and the second thing is of course when you mask it you need to unmask individual packages now I'm sure there's a lot of ways for you to unmask but I have a separate mask and unmask it just makes it more easier for me uh, to to follow and to check so for example here the Wayland desktop now I can put it as a um, as this that I wanted the hyperland on Wayland desktop now if I put only a this GUI hyperland it will just find a package relating hyperland and it will just find a package which is the most recent uh, update or up package build I think that's that's how it is yeah so i believe i will not go through more here i see here i was trying before because before i am trying to record i tried to make a obs recording and i found out that i can do the xdg desktop portal wlr hopefully still recording yeah and i found out about that that i can use that so i removed the hyperland um, package and I just use the the um, the WLR because it's also it's also taking the and I believe these are masked now Qt base Qt base gen 2 these are now masked due to the testing ah, see split packaging and it's been like what already almost a almost six months why well, it takes a long time okay it's now it's in transition to qt6 i could tell that okay so 
I believe. Oh, last thing is the I wanted to discuss. In first things first, is after you install your Gen 2, there is a cheat sheet in here. Cheat sheet. <laughs> cheat sheet on the wiki. You can go through here. I won't really go deep into this. There's most of this. Newcomers and graver are like are encouraged to add their helpful tips. So go through this one. I highly suggest you go through this one because, the, for example, the package removal you cannot just do a emerge and merge because the problem of that is there is the unmerge option, but this is not recommended and can break your system if it's not used with caution. So you should never ever do this. So let's just say I want to remove the, um, how can I say, uh, let's just select one, which is my text editor mousepad. So sudo emerge, deselect. Uh, mouse pad so say yes once you click yes it doesn't mean that it's already uninstalled it just means that it was uh, taken out of the word favorites files now to un to remove this safely you can sudo emerge deep that clean uh, I'm just gonna exclude now here if you want to exclude a package then you can choose add the exclude option I'm just gonna exclude the um, the kernel because I have two kernels now on my system and I'll just keep playing around for now um, so see it will unstable or it will remove all the packages which is not um, needed anymore on your system uh, so saying yes you can control C to abort later on I can just install mousepad is not really that big so see it's already uh, that's the way that you should you should um, remove a package there is also a direct package to remove which is no other packages um, there's no um, sorry to directly remove a package it's also mentioned in here you can do the just merge as verbose deep clean depth clean firepacks just go straight and another thing is one uh, eQuery, I think that's the best for me that I use. I don't use much the EIX. Yes, this is like I have EIX now on my system. But to be honest, for example, to be honest, I'm quite confused sometimes because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things written in here. I don't use that much. Not really too geeky but I believe it's it's a good package and there's no e query here query uh, here e query this is one of the things that I'm using most of the time which is part of gentle gentle kit e query for example e query help oh, let's just clear clear eQuery help is there is a um, there is a modules in here which you can use so for example I want to check which which is depending to let's just say Wayland depends yeah so eQuery D for depends and let's say Wayland. Then all these packages is relying on Wayland. So if you remove the Wayland, this will 100% break. 
and there's a lot of uh, cool tools for Gen 2 and I highly recommend again like I said ah, one more thing is the dispatch conf this is let's say and I highly advise because a lot of the forums a lot of the guys for convenience they will tell you to just do the auto unmask please um, I urge you not to do that because um, it will just I mean I've been using that before on my initial gen 2 my first few months and my auto unmask file they were just really long really long so let's just go quickly here this, this is easier for me to show you um, portage package that you see my auto unmask uh, I don't have let me just quickly uh, quickly install the mouse pad I hope this will be quick can I zoom yes mm -hmm. so the, the the thing about is your auto unmask if you do the auto unmask um, let's just search uh, dash dash auto unmask gen 2 I think that was the command the auto unmask this will just create a I mean it will just um, keep writing it on the auto unmask file okay so look at my auto unmask it's empty because what I'm doing is if let's say I was installing let's just say I was installing before the steam you will have a message saying that these things needed to be added to your configuration file so if you click just I mean just accept it yes most likely it will go to your auto unmask file now it doesn't mean that it's already installed if you want to keep it in there no problem again like I said if you keep doing that your auto unmask file will just get longer and longer and longer and then later on if let's say you need to remove the package for example if I want to remove this team then I can just delete this file so at least it will also remove when I carry out the depth clean so this is what I discourage you to do it the auto unmask and if let's say you have it the auto unmask in and it tells you to put it on your configuration file for example then you need to carry out the uh, this dispatch comp or actually there is also the etc update i think hmm, it's not mentioned here but you can carry out also the sudo etc update the X same um, but the dispatch com for me is much much better on my opinion I mean that's just how I used to it okay I hope I have mentioned I believe this should be my last <laughs> gen 2 mm, and again gen 2 is not for everybody because it's 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 not a distro wherein you can just install and then keep installing and so on update all that things gen 2 once you install um gen 2 once you install it requires a maintenance so imagine this if you're a man then you are having like a highly maintenance wife or girlfriend where well, it requires a lot of attention it requires you a lot to read because the thing is if you set it up bad then your system will perform bad but you should keep reading you should keep reading because my experience could not be your experience or your experience could not be my experience however if let's say if let's say you found a bug and you found a bug or you have having a problem I urge you to please check first the internet because chances are maybe it's already been 
uh, asked by somebody maybe it's already been um, there was a solution on it in that way you can also learn from it that's the um, um, that's the things that I can advise you for all right so I think yeah this will this should be how long is my bank now it's already 35 minutes so again if you have any questions feel free to ask me if I know the answer then I can show you I can guide you and um, if there are things which I've mentioned in here which is you think it's not right then of course you're welcome you're welcome to criticize me and it's also a lear learning process for me so I could learn anyway I will end the video now I hope you learn something from me and again uh, if you are new to the channel if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button it's free it doesn't cost you a thing it's only I can ask you for and of course if you like it please like I hope you just click the like and if possible you can share so then a lot of guys will be also get um, not educated but be informed about Gen 2 okay I see you again on the next video hope you have all a good day bye now